Friday morning, uh, this was posted on opengl.org, and what it says is that um, they've got tessellation tests enabled under Mac OS X. Now, according to the Mac OS X um, OpenGL, this isn't um, even implemented. So it got quite a few people interested, and there are a few um, posts on various websites, um, for example, on Stack Overflow, somewhere else, talked about it. Now, I did some digging around in the source code and the headers that come with um, OpenGL, and there was absolutely no sign of tessellation, which you would need to be able to generate a test control and test eval shader. So I decided to fire the app up in the OpenGL profiler, and this is quite a nice little um, part of the developer kit that comes with uh, Mac OS X. And what you can do is you can attach to a um, OpenGL program and you can do some investigation. So what I did is I went through and um, I went and found the breakpoints in here. And what we can do is we can launch an app and we can set particular breakpoints. So what I'll do is I'll go through and tell it to break on a GL error. And what we can do is we can run the application, maybe a little bit slow because um, of the screen capture. And if I go to the test mark application here and just tell it to run, what should happen is that it will run up the application briefly. The breakpoints, as you can see here, will kick in and it allows us to investigate what's going on. So the first thing I looked at was the trace and this gives us um, all of the OpenGL calls that are being made. And you can see here there's uh, quite a few sort of basic OpenGL calls and things being made here. Now the other thing that we can grab is um, a more in-depth look at the resources that the application is using. So you can see that we can we can look at textures, that's the texture maps, we can look at frame buffers, VBOs, and most importantly, we can look for shaders. And this is the first clue that I got, that um, if we look here, we've got a few shader, first shader object, it says it has two shaders attached here, um, and you can see there, and it will give us the shader source, typical version 150 GLSL shader and there's the next one and when I got to this program object here we see that it's got four shaders attached it's been linked um, it was all successful and if we look through program object number eight if we look here it's just a standard vertex shader and it indeed says vertex shader there number nine is of unknown type and if we look closely at the shader source, you will see that it is actually a tessellation shader, and it had compiled. Same again with number nine. Uh, sorry, number ten. Again, unknown type, and it's indeed it's a tessellation evaluation shader. So, with a bit of digging, I decided to then have a look in here for the create shader. So, if we do a search for GL create shader and look through the source code um, or the open gel calls so we can see the first one gel vertex shader but the nice thing is it tells us the ID that's returned so we know that the shaders from the previous ones are shaders 9 and 10 so if we search through and we can discover that there's shader 9 and in fact it's not using what you would normally expect gel vertex shader up it's using a hex digit and that hex digit is 8088 and the next one is 8087 now these are actually the Nvidia reserved I, I discovered later on the white paper um, the actual values that are reserved for the defines in the test control and the test evaluation shaders which if I look at my um, data types here we can see that test control I've defined as 0, 8E and test evaluation 
as 8, 7. So I can now use this in my own program. Now the first, the, the only other thing that we need is obviously the call to GL patches. We need to draw our primitives using GL patches. That again doesn't exist in the um, Mac version. So I had to do again some more um, finding this time. GL draw is obviously the call. And I searched through and looked for GL draw which I think this has actually stopped before it actually got to doing the draw. However, I discovered that the, the, the GL draw command for GL patches has the hex value of E hex. So again, I've defined this, and I've defined it in such a way that um, it's sort of future-proofing that if one day Apple do deign to release this fully, please do, and give us modern OpenGL, then this will um, be superfluous, but also if it's defined already, I won't redefine it. Um, again, on a, a final note of this, I'll just um, stop the OpenGL profiler, um, stop hogging all of these resources, and stop that application. I've now taken the demo program from uh, the little Grasshopper site, so um, this um, X1. Here and I've taken his shader and I've implemented it in my own application. So, what I now have is under Mac OS X proof that tessellation works. So, here is a basic um, icosahedron, and what we're going to do is change the tessellation levels on the GPU, and you can see that. I can change the inner and outer tessellation levels and my GT640 um, GPU on this Mac is doing full tessellation there you go, it's in wireframe mode. So really good news, tessellation does work on Mac hardware. I'll write some more details up on the blog and post that when I get a chance, but for now there's proof that it does work and also proof of how useful the OpenGL profiler is on the Mac.